Okay, this is uh, part two of the uh, last uh, film we made, like, and I'm, I'm trying to think of what to say, like, you know. And um, I've thought a lot about uh, painting. But, cut that aside, um, I just thought I'd show you a drawing that I've done of St Paul's Cathedral, which obviously everybody, most people know about, like, you know. But it's quite a common image that one, like a lot of people have tried to paint it, like, you know. Oh, um, I like that, it's up from the uh, Millennium Bridge. It's from uh, Fleet Street, it is. It's actually from Fleet Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, And, yeah. Uh, you know, you get the front all, because everything's built around it, like, you know. But this book here is like a, a book of information of things that um, I like doing, like, um, like churches, like this is, um, this is Westminster Cathedral, like I did that. You just hold that for a second there, like I just get the, the painting that, um, one of the paintings that were done of it, and I quite, uh, one of the paintings that were done of it, and I quite, uh, like the colour. I know Graham Sutherland done a lot of paintings of, of is that in view or what? Or, uh, is it, yeah. Is it, can you see it sort of, sort of? Yeah, if you take it back a bit. Back a bit, yeah. Uh, and a bit down. A bit down. Yeah. Yeah, and if you can get it kind of straight, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this one here, like, I quite like the colour. Um, and um, I like Sickert's paintings of churches, but anyway, get back to my sort of thing, like, and that. This is something that I've been working on, like, and, um, um, you know, I don't know what, what pe people are going to think of that. I've done that one, and there's another thing I wanted to show you. Is it okay if I get around there, there, there for a minute? Just get, yeah. Get it easier. Um, this is a, a painting of um, I don't know if you can can you make it out there like sort of put too close or uh, I'll just tilt it up a bit. Yeah, that's good. If you got it? Yeah. Like it's, 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 um, I've actually sort of took liberties with it, like, because it's the positions of the things are in different places, like, but this is like a cross and an angel, which is on top of a col column, like, and, um, it's in Russia. I did it from an old postcard, like, and that, because I, I went to Russia when it was a communist country, and, um, I was really moved by the, um, what happened there, like, the, the Leningrad, the siege of Leningrad, and, I just thought I'd do a painting of it with the Nazi bombers around it, you know, dropping their bombs like, you know, and this powerful thing here, like, very heroic, and they, <coughs> they actually did win, didn't they? The actually Russians really took, took a lot of flack in the war, but, you know, it's about painting again, like, and um, for some reason, uh, at the same time, I got into an, an artist called, Tip I think his name is Tipolo, uh, who was an uh, Italian sort of painter. I'm going to come back on the screen now. And um, I... Uh, <coughs> was it what, what period was it? I think uh, she's named here because I can't pronounce it. Like he was around about the 15th or 17th century. 16th or 17th century, like, you know. I liked some of the way he painted, like, which is very sort of, uh, I don't know, just... Uh, very soft and all that sort of stuff, like colours are beautiful, colourish like, you know. So I did a lot of copies of his work like and that and um, it was a period, I don't know if he was in a period called the Rococo and I bought this book and it shows you, you know, I, mean, I don't know why, I just for some reason this here, like the light and that, is, I thought it was fantastic like, you know, and um, I did that. Um, I've been working from, look, I've been trying to, to figure out Rococo and um, the um, Baroque sort of period of painting, which I've done lots of paintings from, like, you know. 
and I've actually done, uh, <coughs> I've worked from modern paintings like Picasso, like, you know, um, this Cubist period, which I can't find at the moment, but, but um, you know, I've been just trying to figure out where I am, like, in the scheme so of things. So, ha have you always used uh, heavy uh, impasto? Uh, yeah, basically, like, uh, since I started painting, once I see, see Frank Arbart's work, uh, it was like bang, like it really hit me like a ton of bricks, like you know. And I really thought um, I'd seen Freud's, Lucian Freud's work at an exhibition I went to with a friend, like she took me there, like you know. And I looked at his work, at Freud's work, and uh, that's quite in past, so not as, not as much as Arbach, you know. But I thought, God, this is something that I'd like to do. I really would like to do something like this, you know. And um, at that time, I was just coming off with a drink, you know, I had a drink problem, like from drugs and that, and I was just coming off it, and um, in some ways that helped me, you know, it did actually help us. And um, But when I see Arbach's work, I got totally hooked on it, like, you know, I sort of, um, I couldn't stop looking at it, and I read everything he said, like, and that, and then I got to know, um, uh, of Kossoff's work, and he did paintings of Dalston, like, and um, that's the area that I lived in. And I started to do paintings um, which were similar to Arbach and Kossoff. People, people would say that, you know, that, uh, did it piss me off? Um, well, yeah, in, in a way, like, you know, because obviously everybody wants to be individual, like, and, that, and obviously I'm not, like, you know. And um, for years, like, I started to use a lot of paint. I do like the actual texture of the paint and the heaviness of paint and all that stuff. I've tried to get away from it, but it always pulls me back, like, you know. And, that, and um, yeah, that's, that's um, people would say that, you know, you are influenced by science and it's true, like, you know. Uh, who else would you say you're influenced by? Like Sickert's work, I think his work is very good, like, yeah, so good, like, uh, I love his work. And at the moment, like, um, you know, there's some of the people, like, from the olden days, like, you know, Tip, what's his name, Tip Iapiolo? I can't pronounce it, sorry, like, you know, you might be able to do better than me, is it? Uh, I don't know, Tiapolo? Yeah, like Polo, I mean, like that. But um, yeah, I've been doing things from that. I like, uh, I do like all sorts of paintings really. Like, I mean, I, I like Yuko's work. I've been looking at some of his stuff, like, you know, and uh, he was very good. I thought he was dead now. Like, but um, I thought he was, at one time it was like you either like Arbach or, or Yuko, like, in that. But I do, I, I like them both equally in, in a way, like, you know. Um, so what I do, I do enjoy painting, it's a very difficult lifestyle, um, I'm, I don't know, maybe you know, I'd have been better off if I'd just got a job as a postman or something like that, you know, but it seems to me that I've, I've always been interested in painting and that's, that's all I want to do, like really, like, you know. Yeah, there are, uh, there are obviously definite themes. Yeah, I tend um, to, yeah. I swear, yeah. We saw some of your work on gangsters. Yeah, before, yeah. But there's also appears to be uh, Catholicism. Very strong, like you know. And I try to pull away from it, but obviously, like the <coughs> as, as as you've seen, like the cross seems to have had a, a powerful influence. I don't know what it is. I suppose it's the the, the the it's a very powerful image that's been used for thousands of years, like and that and. Um, you know, I just I just use it like so. I don't know. It's obviously there must be a part of me that is is is, is Catholic, like which is is true. Like you know, I mean, I uh, I don't go to church every Sunday and all that. I mean, but I do. It does mean something to me, like you know. So um, yeah, um, more so than other. Religion. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't think painting the picture of the Buddha would be any good for me, like, or anything. There's, there's no, uh, in the, there's a fero ferocity in, in, in the, the cross, a violence about it and uh, what it was for. And yet, I suppose there's a redemption thing, isn't there? Like, you know, that's what people see it as, like, you know.
um, or I see it as. Um, so I wouldn't do anything that was from the East, uh, basically, like Buddha or what's his name, uh, Krishna and things like that. I mean, that, that wouldn't be me for some reason. The, uh, the, the, the Christian thing has more power in it, the story and all that sort of stuff. But, you know. So, um, I don't know, I'm not saying that I'm a Christian painter. I just paint things, because what I usually have to paint as well is old back streets of London, like really like shabby places and all that stuff. I paint pictures of friends of mine that, that do pose, like, you know, I've done quite a few pictures of friends, like, and they sit for us. People that I like to find interest in, I paint, like, you know, so there's that sort of thing as well, like, you know. Um, but I always tend to go back to the same things, like, you know, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what to say really, I mean, you know, as I say, I usually work in the other room and, um, you know, I'm very, um, what, you, what would you call it, um, I live the lifestyle of like in the old time, like Van Gogh sort of stuff.